Hey everyone, and welcome to Tom Drinks. I'm your host, Tom Seymour. Today is a very special segment because it's the unbottling of Orphan Barrel's newest release, Muckety Fuck. Tom, it's Muck. Uh, my bad. Muckety Muck. As you can see from the front of the bottle, this old juice was distilled at the Port Dundas Distillery in Glasgow, Scotland. The whole purpose of Orphan Barrel as a company is to access nearly forgotten whiskey barrels in the backs of old, non-operational distilleries or rickhouses, barrel aging warehouses. In this case, Muckety Muck comes from the closed Port Dundas Distillery, which shut its doors in 2010, just after celebrating its 200th anniversary. Port Dundas owners and spirit giant Diageo you may have heard of their brands Crown Royal, Smirnoff, Kettle One, Captain Morgan, Bailey's, Tanqueray, and Guinness to name a few. Diageo mothballs this distillery after 200 years, moves its production to Cameron Bridge Distillery and the North British Distillery in Edinburgh where they share the, with the Edrington Group who makes Macallan. Port Dundas, which I'll call PD moving forward, was producing north of 50 million bottles, these fifths, 750 milliliters, annually. The new location, Cameron Bridge, has over 180 million bottle capacity, more than triple Port Thunder. But why is it so important to move and completely mothball? That's when you literally shut the doors and walk away, sometimes with the intention, like a grandma, putting mothballs on her clothes uh, to preserve the integrity of the asset for potential future use. They did, however, demo the 200-foot distillery chimney stack, which still hurts my heart. But why did they choose to move? Well, PD at the time wasn't only making the 12 and 18 year old bottlings that we know and love. They were making juice to help out fellow Diageo brand and Speyside legend Cardew Distillery with production for the infamous blended whiskey, Johnny Walker. They simply had to move to keep up with demand. Let's move on to the phrase single grain. Single, meaning one distillery, and grain, meaning literally any grain. If you're to hear single malt, like in the case of Orphan Barrel's previous release, Forger's Keep, single once again means one distillery, but the word malt pertains specifically to barley. In this case, single pertains to the PD distillery, and Muckety Muck's grain bill is barley, rye, and surprisingly American corn. And since PD aged their whiskeys in second-run bourbon barrels, I'm expecting a strong American whiskey influence on the flavor profile. I wanna talk about one more thing on the label, the Scottish pig mascot on the front. PD used to be a piggery in their heyday, and the pigs would eat all the spent grain and get nice and round, and the tourists and passerbys would love it. They would always talk about their prize pig, Muckety Muck, who is this big guy featured on the front. His Scottish tartan sash comes in six colors, red, green, blue, yellow, and orange, and the one we're trying today, gray. Let's open her up. Gosh, I love this color. Super caramel, little bit of red. I'm really excited. Everything from Orphan Barrel, such small production, it is hand bottled, which I love. Oh my gosh, it smells like a bourbon. Mmm, fantastic. Not holding back on this one. tough to believe that this is scotch honestly lots of oak after 24 clearly amazing years vanilla spice coming over into that kind of sweet buttery nuttiness that makes me think of almost coconut Green apple, honey, cinnamon up front, just like that PD 12 year. But on the mid palate and the finish, we're going into those softer tropical fruits like mango and pineapple that we loved on the PD 18. So unique, it's oily, I'm guessing from the corn and the mash bill and the bourbon cast, but also at the same time, from the obscenely long aging, it dries up perfectly, really woody. It's not anything, it's a complete, on the nose it's a bourbon, on the palate it's a scotch, and then the, the whole flavor profile is just 
a whirlwind. This is seriously unlike anything I've had before in my life. This is awesome. Win a chance to sample this at our store, Orion Wine and Spirits, and for a chance to purchase these last two bottles of Orphan Barrel's Forged Oak by liking, subscribing, and commenting. See y'all next week where we try some pap, what's that called? Pap, pap schmear, pap tart, paprika, sprinkle. We're trying Pappy Van Winkle. See y'all then, cheers.